here at the National Emerging Infectious Diseases Laboratory at Boston University. And it really is about uh, the development of new interventions and new vaccines that will add to not only the health of the citizens of Boston, but the state of Massachusetts, the United States, and indeed the globe. No, I know. So some cells are and some cells aren't, and that's the kind of interesting thing. Well, biosafety level two differs from biosafety levels three and four uh, with respect to uh, level of personal protective equipment, level of engineering of the facility. Our highest priority is really quite simple. It is the safety of our uh, laboratory environment to protect not only the investigators who work here, uh, but by definition then the community that surrounds us. At Boston University, we are committed to a culture of safety. So the, the normal process for working in the lab? Part of my role as the Director of Research Safety in Environmental Health and Safety is to ensure that we have a comprehensive environmental health and safety program across the university for biosafety level two, three, and four. We ensure that these laboratories are kept safe by making sure that we check and verify the procedures that they actually in the, lo in the laboratory. Training for laboratory safety personnel is key and very important. There are three levels of training that we conduct within the environmental health and safety program. The first level of training is a series of didactic training and lectures. The second layer of training is conducting a suit suitability training so that people are aware and are ensured that they could actually go in a suit and work within a suit. After they pass that, they go through practical hands-on training where they do a lot of simulated exercises within the laboratory setting, making sure that they could actually conduct physical work uh, while wearing a suit. The third, obviously, is mentoring. Third is when, after a thorough evaluation of the instructor, the person is allowed to go into maximum containment and conduct some work within maximum containment. So we are in the BSL-4 training simulator laboratory. It's one of a few uh, simulator laboratory that in the United States, and it's geared towards and put together to make sure that folks who are working in the BSL-4 are properly trained. The Biosafety Level 4 was built and constructed to meet and exceed the regulations, both federally, local, and statewide. There are essentially three elements to ensuring the safety and running a safety program. One primary element is containment. Work that are being conducted with a different microbiological agent must be performed in the right biological containment, such as a BSL-3 or BSL-4. That must be complemented by administrative processes and control. An additional control would be your personal protective equipment. Containment protects the environment. The personal protective equipment protects the individual working in the laboratory. And the administrative procedures and practices both protect the individuals working in the laboratory and the environment itself. The building automation system is connected to the control center. The building automation system monitors not just security, but also safety of containment within the BSL-4. This includes the HVAC, or what we call the ventilation system, including the exhaust and supply air. We have a state-of-the-art command center. And this command center combines security and building automation system. We got the cable up on that, right? Yes. Yeah. Good. Everything's working fine. Actually. At the needle, I oversee all uh, safety and security. Uh, we have a needle uh, security force that's in place. It's an armed security force, well trained, well equipped. Uh, we have uh, advanced technology here at the needle that allows us to screen people when they come through, screen vehicles, so that we make sure the premises are safe and everybody's screened when they come in. So I oversee that whole operation. I spent 27 years with the Massachusetts State Police. I was appointed by the governor of Massachusetts to oversee security for Logan Airport. I had a lot of um, experience in airport security, which translates well to high-risk building security. It's much more ro robust than other laboratories, uh, and it has to be because of what we're dealing with, the pathogens we're dealing with. So 
Um, we have a very robust system, not only of technology, but personnel. One of the systems we have in place is a biometric system. It's an iris scanner system. We have great technology and we work together as a team, both internally, externally, collaborating with uh, Boston Police and Boston EMS and Boston Fire. So we have a I don't think you'll find another building in the city as safe as this. So bringing both the investigators as well as the instrumentation that's state-of-the-art together, we will provide opportunities for the study of these uh, agents at uh, levels that are unprecedented. The promise of the needle is really very simple. It has the potential to become the premier center for the study of emerging and re-emerging infectious diseases in the world.